Let's make some carrot and mango juice. To begin with, I'll wash and clean my carrots nicely, after which I'll cut them into my blendable sizes. I would recommend that if you are using carrots for juice, you taste it before using it. I personally like to use the foreign type as they are sweeter and more appropriate in making my juice. I have some mangoes in my backyard, they are in season and so I grabbed some of them, washed them thoroughly and I'm about to prepare them. This we call our local mangoes and they are usually smaller <laughs> in size so when you are using it to make juice um, or smoothie you have to use a lot more. Okay, So this is what I do to get the most out of it. I will cut them and then go in with a spoon and also the seed I'll, I'll use my knife to you know try and get the best or the most out of it there are some that are extremely soft that you can't even go through with your knife for those ones i i just use my hand to squeeze the juice out of them Mangoes and carrots are both sweet and I want a bit of an acid in there and so I am squeezing some lemon juice to this. Now there is something that I do with my blender anytime I'm about to make some juices or some drinks is to clean my blender with lemon or lime together with baking powder or soda and just a drop of soup. And so if I happen to use the lemon or the lime, I use the peel of it and it works as well. So you blend it and it's going to clean your blender nicely. It will smell good and take away any pungent smell that was left in from preparing other dishes. And now go ahead and pour in my carrot and my mango and then rinse the bowl in which I had the mangoes and carrots with the lemon juice and then blend it as smooth as I possibly can. You can add in some ginger for some kick. That wouldn't be bad at all. So once I'm done blending it, I'll just go ahead and add a little ice. This is because I was going to have it immediately and I wanted it chilled. Okay, it will also make the consistency a bit lighter, which is good. Now, mango when it's ripe, especially the local ones, they have this fiber. You know when you eat them, that they get stuck in between your teeth. Using them to make juice like without straining them for me i feel it's unpleasant so i just go ahead and then strain mine and take the those fibers out and this is what we are left with i just love the consistency of the juice you know you'll be tasting the carrots in there and it's just healthy thank you so much for watching kindly support me by liking this video and follow me on all my social media platforms stay safe and stay blessed